It's happened in the office bathroom. It's happened in Starbucks bathroom. No shame in my game. Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be doing kind of like a routine slash what's in my bag video. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. I'm gonna be showing you everything in my makeup bag that I keep with me when I know I'm gonna be having like an extra long day. Staying at the office all day and then having to go like right out no breaks, no coming home, none of that. So everything in here is what I use to kind of touch up, refresh, reset, and feel my best. Basically, I'm not trying to look like a grease ball whenever I have to go out to dinner or even run errands. Like if I can just take a second and you know, even if it's just like in the car, which it usually is, it just makes me feel a million times better. I actually got to partner with Walgreens for this video which is super exciting for me. You guys know I am forever a drugstore girl, so this was a big deal to me. And everything that I have in my makeup bag is from Walgreens, so it's all super affordable and accessible, which I think is awesome. And oh, let's get into it. <laughs> First up, pretty much the most important thing in here for me personally. These are the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets. I have been using these for a million years. They are a lifesaver. I get greasy through the day. It is not a cute moment. These save my life. And I just noticed it says portable on here. No, really? Sometimes I get the generic, sometimes I get name brand. Either way, I just always go for the blue ones because they work best for me. Next up, I have my powder. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 Hour Powder. And I usually just use this after I use my shine sheet. At times, I can lose coverage around my nose and on my chin and a little bit on my nose too. Sometimes, Life is hard, and if I lose coverage through the day, this definitely comes in handy. I find that it has like a little more coverage than your typical face powder. It comes with its own sponge and a mirror, so that's really nice. I've just been really liking this one lately. Next up, you gotta have a lip color. I usually have at least two. I mean, you know, space is an issue, but I like to have options. Of course, I have my Revlon Balm Stain and Honey, you guys know. I love this color. It is so easy to put on. It goes with like anything. It's just an everyday life favorite basically. And then I also have the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I've talked about this one a bunch recently. It is in the color Seduction. It is just like a really, really pretty nudie mauve, something like that. Again, super easy to put on, goes with a lot of looks. Both of these are just great go-tos. Next up, I have a few product for the eyes. First step to kind of like clean up anything that might just be like a little droopy. You know what I mean? Sometimes eyeliner can get a little melty, a little shadow could kind of get a little smudged and stuff like that. So it's really nice to have a little pack of Q-tips. This one is really cute and it's really small. So it's nice. And you can also just like refill the Q-tips in here like so. You don't know how much you need a Q-tip until you need one. Also have a pencil liner. This is the Maybelline Unstoppable. It is a retractable self-sharpening, whoa. <laughs> Reel it in. You don't have to sharpen this one, which is pretty key because you don't wanna have to deal with sharpening a pencil liner when you are on the go. And next up for the eyes, I have the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. This one is pretty new. I got it back in December and I have been loving it. They have a whole bunch of different ones that focus on different things, but this one is supposed to be like the all around awesome one. In my mind, I'm like, why would you choose a different one? But I especially, especially, especially love this one because the wand is so small. It's really interesting. Like I haven't used a mascara with a wand like this maybe ever. It's super easy to control. I don't have as many accidents, which I am very prone to accidents when I am using mascara, especially if it's like the last second, I'm just like everywhere. Again, the Q-tips, they come in handy. But with this, I have so much more control and it's really easy to do the bottom lashes. And though I most likely already have mascara on, I just always like to do like one more coat before I go if it's been a long time, just because it just like refreshes the blackness. And next up, I have a few things that just freshen me up generally. First, 
my all-time favorite gum. I don't know if you know this, but I am pretty addicted to gum. It definitely used to be a lot worse than it is now, but it's always been Trident, my first love, my only love. This is the original, this is the one I'm on these days. Uh, I've always got it in my purse, but I like to have a little backup pack in my touch-up kit just in case. And next up I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer. This is the crisp apple scent. I really like it. It just makes me feel fresh, germ-free. I like it. And last I have a little baby deodorant. This is the Dove Advanced Care Cool Essentials 48 hour. Every morning I like pull out the big guns and I use the clinical strength deodorant, but this is Houston, Texas and sometimes it gets a little sweaty and this can really, really, really come in handy. And one last thing, I have this little kind of teasing comb brush. I like to have some volume in my hair and I tease it in the morning but often it can lose a lot of volume through the day and so if I just want to fluff it up a little bit this is what I use. All right and that's everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and if you want to see any more kind of like routine videos from me I want to do more so let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you have, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. And if you wanna find me anywhere else on social media, it's Leanne Sos absolutely everywhere. I'll put those links down below as well as a list of all the products if you're curious. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. This thing is stuffed. Now I have goo on my hand. My lipstick is betraying me. Why? Because <laughs> if you're me, and you have lupus, you're like not really supposed to be in the sun, so it's a good idea to wear a hat, like an old lady. <laughs>